and uh, the delegation which has come with you, uh, ministers, honourable guests, I take again the opportunity of uh, welcoming you to Pakistan. Again, I repeat, uh, people of Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia living in our hearts because of Makkah and Medina, but also because Saudi Arabia has always been a friend for Pakistan. Saudi Arabia has been a friend when Pakistan has needed friends. So Saudi Arabia has always been a friend in need, which is why we value it so much. Um, Highness, I, I want to say that uh, I, what, I repeat, what I said before, well, my six months of uh, being prime minister, the greatest moment for me was when I went to uh, Makkah and Medina. And because of you, I was allowed to go inside the Kaaba. And then in Rosai Rasul in, uh, in Medina, I was allowed to go inside. They remain the two most, uh, what, what can I say, the best moments for me since I've been uh, uh, the prime minister. So I especially, personally, want to thank you for that. Uh, I want to thank you for the way you helped us when, when we were in bad situation. Uh, and I'm very happy that you came here because we have just signed these MOUs. Uh, and Pakistan and Saudi Arabia are now uh, taking this relationship to a level which we never had before a relationship where uh, it will now be investment between the two countries which will mutually benefit from it. A relationship where we will be investing uh, in minerals, where we will, um, I was going to say about tourism, but just when we were driving in the car, the passion with which you spoke about tourism in uh, Saudi Arabia uh, made me uh, bit worried because I thought Pakistan had this tourism <laughs> potential. But the things you told me about Saudi Arabia, well, and the amount of tourism, I'd never realized that Saudi Arabia had 80 million tourists and you were going to take it to 100 million tourists. So Pakistan is still a long way to go, but we do feel very proud. I'm very passionate about the potential in this country. Uh, Pakistan's tourism has not really grown at all. Uh, we feel that we have some of the most beautiful uh, uh, mountainous tourism anywhere in the world. Uh, uh, I know in other ways Saudi Arabia will be ahead of us, but in mountain tourism, Pakistan is ahead of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, the, the MOU, MOUs we've signed on uh, petrochemicals, minerals, uh, agriculture is one area. Um, uh, food processing is another area, but I, you know, we have CPAC, we have uh, links with China, we have very close uh, uh, now connectivity with probably what is the biggest market in the world, which is China. So we welcome Saudi Arabia to participate with us. It's an exciting future where we have uh, Saudi Arabia participating in what is going to be going to be in the next 10 years probably the biggest uh, country with the biggest GDP. So uh, again, I want to thank you, uh, Johannes. I, I wish you could have stayed longer, but I can tell you that if uh, we did not have security concerns and we worry about your security more than my security, if it wasn't for that, you would have seen thousands and thousands of people on the streets welcoming you. So welcome again. आजम इमरान खान तकरीब से खिताब कर रहे थे उन्होंने कहा कि सऊदी के लोग हमारे दिल में रहते हैं सऊदी अरब हमेशा पाकिस्तान का दोस्त रहा है और हमेशा दोस्ती निभाई भी है Glad to be today in uh, Pakistan a dear country to all from his majesty and we've worked together in tough and good times and we will continue the same thing especially that Pakistan facing really great future today with a great leadership uh, last year, 2018, Pakistan GDP grew uh, by 5%. 5 
So uh, we believe that Pakistan is going to be a very, very important country in the coming future. And we want to be sure that we are part of that. So uh, we are waiting for that kind of leadership to uh, partner with and to build a lot of things together. Today we signed the MOUs. We believe it's the amount of that kind of investment is 20 billion US dollar. It's big for phase one. And uh, definitely it's going to grow every month, every year in a bigger numbers and it will be beneficial for both uh, countries. We've talked about uh, tourism and uh, Mr. Prime Minister ruled my plan because we plan to announce that uh, after a uh, few days uh, or maybe 10 days from today and we are not planning to announce that we're going to target 100 million tourists. <laughs> so usually we do some trick to announce, you know, a uh, little number and to achieve uh, uh, more. But now we have to be committed to 100 million uh, tourists. I cannot promise that in 2030, but uh, we will reach that one, uh, uh, one day. Uh, today we have 80 million tourists, and we believe we're going to succeed 50 million tourists super easily in the next coming 15 years, 20 years. And 100 million tourists, it's very reasonable target for Saudi Arabia. We have uh, a lot of heritage. We have amazing nature. We have uh, great people. We have uh, uh, infrastructure. We have uh, uh, stability. We have everything. We have all, even the financing and the money to invest in that, um, that area. So uh, we will work with Pakistan in all of these uh, uh, things, economically, politically, and uh, uh, security. And we will be sure that we are creating amazing, great future for Saudi Arabia and Pakistan and for our region. We believe in our region. That's why we're investing in it. And we believe that we will have, gonna have one day great Middle East surrounded by Pakistan from the east side. This is my first trip east since I become Crown Prince and the first country is Pakistan. Thank you. I understand. Two things I, uh, I, I just want to mention. Number one, uh, that we have uh, during Hajj, we have people going to Saudi Arabia. And we would just like to request you, for the sake of the Hajjis, that we have uh, immigration done in Pakistan in the, in the three uh, uh, in the three big cities, reason being that it's easier for Saudi Arabia as, as well as it's easier for us, and especially for Hajis who save all their money for years to go for Hajj, and just and some of them are old, so we would just request you that number one, that to allow them to uh, do their immigration in Pakistan, and secondly, my uh, I just wanted to mention that there are two and a half million Pakistani labour mostly labor, they are uh, white collar workers there too. And I just want uh, to say, uh, Your Highness, that these are people very close to my heart. They are very special people who leave their families, who, who take all the trouble just to go away uh, to, to earn a livelihood for their families. These are mostly people who don't see their families for a year, six months. And so for us, they are very special people. And we would just request you that, uh, uh, you know, it is, uh, it is something which will please the Almighty if, uh, if we can just uh, treat them. There are some 3,000 prisoners there, and we just would like you to um, uh, bear in mind that they have poor people who have left their families behind. So just a request that these are very special people for us, this labor uh, which goes abroad for working. Uh, and uh, imagine leaving the family and children behind who work hard, send their money back, and we would uh, a special request from them that you know please. Uh, uh, sometimes they face hardships, and we would like you to look upon them as your own people. They basically, we feel that this close affinity to Saudi Arabia, we feel that your people are uh, are brothers, and we would just like you to have that same feeling for them. Thank you very much. Mr. Mr. Prime Minister, just I want to, to rest assured that uh, just consider me in Saudi Arabia the ambassador of Pakistan, and uh, we, we cannot we, <laughs> we cannot we cannot say no to Pakistan. Whatever we can do, we will we will deliver that. Thank you. Thank you.
وزیر اعظم عمران خان نے سعودی ولی عہد کو مخاطب کرتے ہوئے کہا کہ میں گزارش کرتا ہوں حج پیکج میں کمی پر غور کیا جائے ساتھ ہی ساتھ کہا کہ ہمارے لوگ بہت خاص ہیں جو اپنے خاندان کو چھوڑ کر باہر کے ملک پیسے کمانے جاتے ہیں ان کے لیے سہولیات پر بھی غور کرنے کی گزارش کرتا ہوں جس پر سعودی ولی عہد نے کہا کہ ہم کبھی پاکستان کو نہ نہیں کر سکتے اور یقیناً اس پر غور کیا جائے گا وزیر اعظم ہاؤس میں اس وقت شائع کی تقریب جاری ہے اور آپ کو بتائیں کہ سعودی ولی عہد نے بھی تھوڑی دیر پہلے خطاب کیا اس تقریب سے ان کا کہنا تھا کہ پاکستان قریب مستقبل میں ایک اہم ملک ہوگا اور ہم اس کا حصے بننے پر خوش ہیں ہمارے پاس اسی ملین ٹورسٹ ہیں جسے ہم سو ملین تک پہنچانا چاہتے ہیں وزیر اعظم ہاؤس میں عام عشائیے کی تقریب اس وقت جاری ہے جس کے مناظر آپ اپنی ٹی وی سکرین پر دیکھ سکتے ہیں کچھ ہی دیر پہلے سپاہ سالار آرمی چیف جنرل قمر جاوید باجوہ بھی یہاں پر پہنچے ہیں اور وزیر اعظم عمران خان نے اس تقریب سے خطاب کیا ساتھ ہی ساتھ سعودی ولی عہد نے بھی اہم باتیں کی ہیں